Morning, old blue. We gotta hurry. We got freight to deliver. trailer sitting right over there let's get this delivered real quick so we can get back home there you are little buddy did you miss me back here wonderful 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 okay let's get going
We are in the fields of shingles. Lots and lots of shingles. And they're not on my trailer, so I like that. This guy shouldn't be up here either. Don't want that going through your windshield, do you? You're welcome. Let's go home. Saturday delivery. So, if you haven't put two and two together yet, today is Saturday when I'm filming this. You can keep your rock. There you go. Ugh. So tomorrow's Sunday, the next day is Monday. I took Monday off as well, so I worked today. It'll be a half day today. Tonight, we have to run, well, I have to run home now, park the truck, go get Britt and Theo. We're going back into Winnipeg uh, to Britt's mom's house, actually her old house. Uh, she sold her house now, and that was Britt's childhood home. And it's a little difficult for Britt to see it go. So we're gonna go there and see it one last time. I think today is the last day that she has it. Probably, I guess tomorrow would be possession day for the new people, I think. I gotta double check that, but. Either way, Britt wants to go and say goodbye to her childhood home. And uh, we're gonna pick up a few things from there too and get them out of there. And then uh, head back home. Then tomorrow we'll start packing. And Monday we'll do some more packing because we are moving as well. Time to get started, right? We don't want to do everything last minute. Though you know, if you know me, that's how it's going to go down. Because I'm going to, I'm going to speak a gig, a, a big game right now. I'm going to talk a big game. So yeah, we're going to go home. We're going to spend the whole day packing tomorrow, and the whole next day packing, and then the day the move will come, and I'll be like, I haven't packed anything yet, and I'll be panicking, scrambling, just tossing everything into random boxes. <laughs> Let's try not to be too Josh-like this time. No procrastinating when it comes to packing. <laughs> I want to get it all packed early because we have to have it all ready by the doors for when the movers come. And that's just in a, just a couple of weeks, few weeks now. So we got to be ready. Oh, I'm, I'm a dad now. I got to be responsible. I got to set the, the example, right? Don't procrastinate. Get everything done. We left our trailer here in the yard. We just got the truck now. We're gonna bobtail back to the shop. starting to look different out here got our gazebo mostly taken down where its dad and stepmom came and helped us with that this all ready to go I've got both sheds organized with uh, boxes some boxes we'll have to take ourselves other boxes the movers will take the movers won't take any boxes that aren't sealed so the ones that don't have lids and stuff We'll take so 
this whole row here it's all for the movers all this like individual stuff we got some paddles here broomsticks fishing rods i can take that myself load that up some extra wood that we have left over from our deck out front that we, that we built there's a double bed right there this stuff here is what i'm talking about like this doesn't have a lid on it for the christmas tree that one there as well i'll take those and they don't have to worry about that some more stuff in here this is part of the gazebo the roof we're gonna set the gazebo up at the new place right away just the shell and then we'll put the cover on it next spring this is all ready to go pretty much in here there's much the same in that shed there just got a few more different things in there right. yeah it's becoming more and more real just a couple more weeks Really looking forward to it. We both are. Got the lawn mode. Slowly saying goodbye, right, Diesel? Come here. Diesel, everyone always asks about you. Well, I'm not that special, I'm just a weasel. Diesel, you're very special. Come here. Come here, Diesel. Say hi to everybody. I owe you everybody. You sit? You sit? Well, you've got all that gray now, those wisdom hairs. Yeah, you've been doing good at home. Everyone keeps asking about you, man. We all miss you. I miss having you on the road, too. But it's better that you be home here with mom and your brothers, right? The yard to run around in. That's nice, right? He's tired. Did you see the squirrel? There's a squirrel in that tree. Where's the squirrel? Are you serious, man? Don't mess with me. I'm old, man. Don't mess with me. Is he in that tree? I don't know. Could he? Could he be? He might be. Where is he? Did you hear that? Where's the squirrel? <laughs> see, he's a little slower and more tired now. That's eh, sad to see, but we all get old eventually. Eh? Dogs get old a little too quick. He's 12 years old now, and he's been with me in the truck since he was just a puppy. I got him at 10 weeks old. He's with me 24 hours a day, every day for the first thing was the first nine years of his life. And then I met Britt, and then. We got Chevy, we got married, and then he decided he likes it better at home. That's uh, sad for me, but I understand, I get it. I get it, Diesel. Maybe one day down the road when we don't have all these dogs, I might consider getting another one. It'd be a, maybe a little bit of a smaller one, not an itty bitty one, but maybe this is a medium size for the truck, because I have such a small truck now. But now, think about that when the time comes. Morning, Lisa. Hey, Chevy. Are we moving? Are you excited? Gonna get a bigger yard? Yeah. Oh, that means he's excited. Got more boxes here. Just begun taking down everything in this room. everything with us. Dinner time, big hit. No, he's out. He's <laughs> out. <laughs> so good, put him right to sleep. Every dinner time. Doesn't matter what time we feed him, he falls asleep for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> 